Hi guys, uh, so this is just a little bit of a follow-up from the Highland 0 to 30 volt, 2 milliamp to 3 amp uh, constant current power supply. So here we have here, the, the, these are the fake boards. So this is the top side of the board. Um, on the left hand side you can see, and then on the right hand side you can see there's the uh, the underside of that board and if you were to make that underside look like the top side on the left there you just open it like a page just imagine it was a page the other side of this board there you go so here it is um, I just chucked this on my scanner uh, just to see if I could get some sort of a decent print out of this and this is what I got so you can peruse on that as much as you like and I shall now show you uh, the other board which is here now this let me just make that a little bit bigger unfortunately i did set all this up but every time i switch from one of the images to the other it changes the size here so this is the real board this is not a fake this is where the um you can see on the left hand side of this board where i've got the wires coming out that's where the um so the ds1047 transistor is and if you look down where my thumb is you can see in the same orientation there's that voltage regulator and it's one of the big catch outs on this board is the voltage regulator um, would be just above the big diodes which are um, running parallel to that voltage regulator uh, so that's one side there uh, this is a working board this is my board taken out of my power supply uh, enclosure so let's just look at the next image which is the underside image of that and that's this board let me just make it a little bit bigger a little bit, uh, let me pull this into the image here um, yeah so this is the underside so i know it's not the greatest way I, I just figured this is a quick way for me to do this because it's not about this it's not about showing you this thing this is you can use this for your own reference if you like if you're going to take a peek at these boards you can see where a good while ago i had to do a little uh put a <laughs> just on the middle to right bottom side of that board and you can see there's a, a, a bit of wire in there because the track blew because i managed to blow the uh double a2 um uh, transistor which is basically your output transistor um, and of course that big transistor is the pass transistor uh, for, the, for the output transistor mm -hmm. makes some sort of sense right so then what I did was uh, because I got the original um, the original manual on the original manual look, is a circuit diagram now that's all well and good it's a circuit diagram but they, there's no components in there and if you were to try to look at the boards uh, to put the components on you might find it a bit difficult but up here in this manual one of the great things about it remember this is the original highland schematic all right this is the one you want and up here if we just go past all the look you see on its board oh lovely 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 but if we go up here and what we find um and as you can see on there look where those diodes are down the bottom left and the um again the regulator is facing the same way as the uh d1047 um that's the that's, that's the correct board and on none of the images do we see another board and that regulator facing any other way so you could look over this and try and work out where things go but the nice thing about it is it gives a bomb up here look at this look it's all here it's all here so if you wanted to you got the time and the patience you could um, rebuild that schematic and add all the values and that would be you know schematic worth having ah, so that's what i did I thought to myself it was a suggestion of somebody who was talking about, you know, what we're going to do to look over this. And I thought to myself, do you know what I'll do? I'm going to build up the schematic and I'm going to add all the values and then make it available. Because if people are going to try copying this and get it wrong, then I think some people should be able to have the benefit of building it on the bench because it's a very low cost power supply. 
and it's a worker we know it works I mean I know my one works it works fine so there it is all the values there um, and I hope that uh, can help somebody I hope if you're sitting there and you're trying to work out maybe what's going on with yours or you think do you know if I could have just had the schematic and stuff I could probably build this on my bench I mean playing around with this everything's there everything's that you need and if for those who uh, I don't have a Dropbox account or anything like that maybe I'll sort one out um, uh, but for those that may be if you want to I mean this is just a, um, a copy of it but there is also the um, the actual KiteCAD version so yeah you could have uh, this particular um, schematic and import it into KiteCAD then you could start maybe playing around with um, developing your own board with Gerber because you've got Gerber and you can you can set out the boards I haven't gone to that um, length yet with this uh, so but yeah you can you can you know set out your own PCB so if you wanted to you could do that so there you go that's uh, my little offering for the day I hope it helps somebody um, hey any any questions comments or anything please put it down there I've heard it's good for the, for the whole YouTube thing um, and if it's helpful to you, this give us a thumbs up. And this isn't going to be the last thing I do. This I will probably play around with the Gerber thing, but I have promised to do a couple of iNav videos first. So uh, yeah, I will put it back onto here because that's probably the one that most people will take. But you can just you know you can just copy that off your screen if you want to do a screen capture, and you've got it there for your perusal. Right, guys, catch you in the next one.